My nan's got it. She only found out when she had my dad. He has haemophilia. I got tested and they said I have low factor levels as well. I had my first bleed when I was around eight. It was in my elbow. I thought I just banged it. I didn't say anything to anyone and then my nan noticed. She was like, right, we need to call up the hospital. And I went and had treatment. I think that's when my family started making me more aware of it. I just had to be more careful. I don't really get bruising that much. It's just my periods. They started when I was about 12 and I bled so much. Every two hours I would go through two heavy pads. It made me really nervous. And my mum used to have to wake me and make me change because it was just, it was just ridiculously heavy. I wasn't able to go to school sometimes because I just couldn't control it and the pain was so bad. They put me on the pill when I was about 13 or 14 to try and control it. It's helped me so much. I usually take tranexamic acid the first three days when it's heaviest and I usually have a DDAVP nasal spray, but it's not available at the moment. It does help though, those two together plus the pill. It really works. The thing I'd like to change is just the awareness that women have haemophilia as well. My friend's biology teacher brought up haemophilia. He said, women only carry it, they can't suffer from it. And she was like, well, actually no, my best friend does. And he was like, no, don't be silly. And when I get my next repeat prescription for my pill, my GP, they always ask me, how come you suffer from it? It's really frustrating. You read that it's men, 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 and women only carry it. Well, I am a woman with haemophilia, and I always explain that actually there are girls and women like myself that have symptoms, sometimes worse symptoms than men. It's just making people more aware of it. Women suffer from haemophilia too, 